Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Yes, this contains absolute chaos. Um, yeah, it does go to calm. Nice little weight lifted off my shoulders. I'm sorry if it's a bit echoey because I am in a new house and the rooms are just massive here. So it's a bit echoey at the moment. So if you've been here from the beginning, you would probably remember that I kept saying I should be moving house soon, I don't know when. And finally it's happened, moved, we're in. These, this part of the video was recorded probably a couple of weeks ago. And then the end part was recorded just this week on Thursday. So... I hope everybody is well. Welcome back, everybody. If you're new here, my name is Lucy. I'm a mother and I also work part-time. And my videos just contain decluttering, organising, tidying, cleaning, trying to stay afloat with crazy life and what it brings. So this declutter that I'm doing now was a spur of the moment. I had a bit of energy. I was like, yes, I'm going to do it. So it actually started with the toys first, but then I must have got bored and overwhelmed. And I think because Cassius kept playing with them and getting them out, I just moved on to the cupboard. This was actually a very stressful day. Um, but I did it. Got lots done. So much in that cupboard. I gave away so much to charity. And if you're wondering why I'm putting these jigsaws and um, games in the bags it's because I was actually moving but I didn't have the boxes but I didn't want to sort the cupboard to put them back in the cupboard to take them out to put them pack them so I was like if I pack them put them away then I can just grab them and then what I did was once I got to the new house unpack them straight away it was just so much easier to do it like that so I'm not that crazy coca-cola one there yeah I'm not that crazy of putting my stuff in bags and then putting them back in the cupboard it was just easier. That kettle there, I should have kept that one and got rid of my other one because my other one got washed and now I can't put the filter back in correctly. It's dead weird. And that grey one was just brand new, but I didn't need to. So I got rid of the newest, the new one. But I should have kept the new one. But never mind. And I was also hoping that at the charity shop that they would understand what that was that I'm putting in now. It's like a donut. I don't really socialise. I just drop and go. You know, as minimal as socialising as possible. That's me. This is my party bag. I was trying to figure out what I would use again and what not. And I did get rid of some. But I have kept a lot. Because I could just use it all year, every year, all year round.
this is what I've got rid of so far. So this is out of the cupboard and there was a toy box toy bag as well which i will show you later on so yeah that was all for charity most of the stuff the kids haven't played with and honestly they don't need any more toys i don't even play with toys my older ones that is so now i'm back to where i started so i did declutter these toys already so i'm just putting them back away so they're nice and easy to pack and take away and whilst I was doing the cupboard, he did tip out um, a load of jigsaws. But sometimes you just got to let them go on with it, haven't you? So I'm just tidying up the toys here now, packing up that jigsaw that he'd got out and making them more organised and keeping a minimal toys out and putting the bulky ones in there. And then the smaller ones go in the sideboard. And actually, in the new house... I've got that many empty boxes now because I've got rid of so many toys, so it's feeling good. As you could probably see there, I was a bit overwhelmed. So I just thought, let's turn off the camera and then I'll tackle that. So this is what I've got out of the cupboard and all the toys. I think there was eight bags there. And then onto the kitchen where, honestly, I binned that many Tupperware because there's no lids. And, I mean, a bottle... <laughs> you've got teats in there clearly what I did was I hung on to one bottle just the one you know just needed that one bottle <laughs> I mean look how much it is just absolutely crazy so I put in this basket what I'm keeping and then I took everything else because I don't really know well when I went to drop off things at the charity shop I did see water bottles in there but they might have been brand new, so I just got rid of them anyway. Um, so, yeah, these are what I'm keeping, and then I do find all the lids <clears throat> and the straws and everything. When I say this is an extreme declutter, I am not exaggerating. It was huge. <laughs> This is the loft that I did this week. And let me tell you, why did I have so much stuff in the loft? Honestly, most of it went to charity or the tip. I mean, I had empty boxes there. Push chair, that didn't even have the push chair bit, you know, the base. Look, I just don't understand. <laughs> Clearly got a problem. And there was a couple of bits there. I'd put in my room. I had the surveyor come round, so I had to quickly move everything off the landing. That was the day I had a bug. So I wanted to do this on Tuesday, but I got hit with the bu bug Monday night. Oh, my gosh. Only lasted 24 hours, thank goodness. I work with children, have children, so I am pretty immune. So I don't actually get ill that often. Literally once a year, twice a year, or once 
or twice every couple of years. Literally, honestly. But when I get ill, I get ill. Because like, I'm not used to being ill. So it do, did knock me that dead. So I, I feel like I'm a bit of a day behind on everything. But I did catch up on Thursday. Cassius was at nursery, uh, childminders. And the other two were just doing whatever they whatever they were doing. Chilling out, you know, helping out here and there. So I just couldn't believe it. I'm just going through their books now. And I kept some. I kept mainly the ones that have got pictures in of them, which is only, like, when they're in nursery or reception, because I think that's just really cute. The other ones I didn't keep. And then what I'm putting in that suitcase is what I'm keeping, some of the pictures they've drawn and stuff. I'll probably go through it again anyway. And then I forget that that's my keep pile, so I start looking for my keep pile, and I can't remember where it was, so I made another one. And then I had all in there is a load of... Oh, no, that's a load of pictures. But I also have a load of college stuff as well. When I went to college, don't know why I kept it. So I got rid of all that as well. Some pictures I've got keep and a chuck pile. Um, There was a TV in there. I remember, I know I put it up there. But I sort of just got rid of it there and then. Hats, lilos. Oh, books. I did actually keep a few books there. You'll probably see me go through them in a minute. Yep, I haven't gone through them yet. Um, Loads. But, like I say, I just didn't need it. CD player, they sort of thing. Here I am looking for my pie, all really confused. <laughs> I do find it after, I remember. There we go. And then, yep, yeah, so I'm, here I am going through the books. Do keep some, because now, obviously, I have a nearly two-year-old. And I gave some, kept some for my nieces as well. Paw Patrol books, they both love them, so they're going to be so happy with them. They used to be my sons, who is now 10. So they've been up there quite a long time, actually. But this time, I'm not holding on to anything. Just going to chuck it, and it's okay to do that. It's okay. So I need to tell myself, it's okay. Because obviously, this is 11 years worth of stuff. In a little two bed house, little two bed terrace house. So the cat trees go in, the mattresses go in, the wardrobe is going. I think that's everything to go in that room, and the carpet is going. If you're still here, thank you very, very much. And I hope this has given you a little bit of motivation to declutter something. Because let me tell you, if you don't, it's going to catch up with you like it has me. And honestly, because I knew there was stuff in my loft and in my cupboard and everywhere, even my shed, my garden, everywhere, I have lost sleep over this, let me tell you. And in them, that bag there, that, that was from, drum roll please, 2012. I only know it's from 2012 because it said 2012 in one of the bags. So basically what them bags are were when people brought gifts when my daughter was born. Yeah, that's what I mean by sentimental attachment. I can have it with anything. But I'm learning not to and I'm learning to tell myself it's okay not to have something, not to cling on to it, not to keep it just because so-and-so brought it yeah or it was for so-and-so's birthday or do you know what I mean so I'm learning I'm learning actually feels good as well do you know I had this much stuff around me so what I used to do was when I was decluttering so for example moving so basically everything that's come out of the loft I decluttered that from my house if you know what I mean, and just pull it in the loft because it was out of sight, when really I sort of just got rid of it. Like them canvases that me and my mum made, we just wrapped wallpaper over some canvases. They were from my daughter's room again, 2012. Why didn't I just get rid of them? Because in my head, I think, oh, I'll use them again. Oh, I might just use them for that. No, I'm going to say no from now on, no. I do love photos, though. I've got a lot of photos and photo frames no, photo albums that I need to sort out. So I won't be getting any rid of any photographs. That's me. Woo, because I'm done. 
So this is the end. All for charity. Or the bin. Bin, that was. Charity. Just so much. So, so much. Not the old doll books. They're going back to my mum. She gave them to us. I think I had them when I was younger. But everything else. This is what's coming with me. That gold digger book. There is, that's my leavers book when I left school. So I had all my friends writing it and put pictures in it and all the good times. So that's staying. And that's this is my car full. I'm at the tip. Didn't want to get out because I'm one of them awkward people. So I thought I'd do a quick video while I was in there. Back home and this is the cupboard I was talking about. Obviously it's got a railing each side which had my clothes on and then all that. All that underneath again, which I just ignored. Just shut the cupboard door and get on with it. But I'm glad it's gone. So I had next to me crib in there, a fan. I had Christmas presents in there um, that I never gave. Or I probably brought too much and duplicated because I've got duplicated outfits in there which I will save <laughs> for somebody. Stuff in there that just literally, obviously needed to go in the bin. Like, there's a bag that must have had, like, a, um, a cot mattress protector in there, and I just kept the bag. Because I would have thought, oh, I can put something in that bag. Literally, that's how my brain works. Not no more, though. Not no more. I've been clinging onto this bag for ages as well, but I just got rid of it. Just got rid of it. I thought, oh, Mila might like that. no. Just get rid of it. Just get rid of it. You know what? I could have sold all this, but I think giving it to charity is, is just really good. What is the saying? One man's junk is another man's treasure. And that is so true. People are going to be buzzing about some of the things that they could have brought, that I've donated, and they're going to make their day. A lot of it's brand new. And if you give, something always gives back. Here's me opening one of the presents. <laughs> honestly, I feel so good at that. It's all done and I've donated so much. I, honestly, I feel like I'm a bit of a regular up there now. Like I went twice on Thursday. And she's like, hi. <laughs> and she thought, bloody hell, back again. And I've just got a push chair to go and... A desk and that is it now but I just feel so good that I can just donate everything and it's all nice for everybody you know anyway enough of my rambling we're nearly at an end end on a tip run and a charity run and thank you so 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 much for being here thank you all for your tips tricks understanding that's the bag I was on about why didn't I just pull it in the bin Oh, and there's also three Tupperware. Not Tupperware. They're like storage box lids. I mean, I don't know where the boxes are. Maybe they're in the shed. Anyway, thank you again so much for being here. Hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's a bit longer than usual, but this was an extreme declutter. Extreme. <laughs> um, Here we go again. I'm saying why have I got this. I haven't even got the parts to it. And yes. That was from 2012. Duper quick gift there. Anyway, I'm definitely going now so you can stop listening to me ram rambling on. And I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Have a great week. See you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>